be very happy that I only have the uh, task of introducing the, the conference. Because, as we say here in France, lawyers are les bavards, <laughs> the talkative ones. So next time you want me to speak and deliver a, a, a true speech, come along with your blankets, sandwiches, <laughs> and enough things to keep you awake. <laughs> So, um, as you said, Lorraine, uh, yes, it's difficult to translate it in English. I do not prosecute, but I go along the uh, prosecution, with the prosecution, on behalf of a civil association in order to fight for the dignity of women and children because children are entitled to it. And in France we discovered FGM uh, when babies died and uh, were brought mutilated in hospital. I'm not going to explain all the fight because as I said, you, you would need blankets and toys and sandwiches. But what would be immediately considered <laughs> as a mutilation if it were perpetrated on a white child had to be understood as a mutilation perpetrated on a black child and I had to fight in court to um, have it recognized that when you cut off a part of the human body, it's a mutilation because it doesn't grow back. So as I said, on the white child, <coughs> on the black child, it's the same. And the pain is the same, as you said. And the uh, devastating uh, horror of the act is the same. It was difficult, it was a difficult and long fight. <coughs> well, we all won, I mean, us women, feminists, because I am a feminist, and this is why I can fight. <coughs> this is what we mean by being feminist. It's we fight for the dignity of women. So as I said, it's only the opening speech. And uh, I would like to get the, to pay tribute or homage, do you say homage? Mm -hmm. To some of the very valuable women who have fought against mutilation. Can I name them and say why? Alice Walker. Alice, when challenged, say, torture is not culture. And I want everybody to thank her for that, because it sets things straight. Kadi Koita, maybe a, a few of you know her. She's a Senegalese woman, she wrote a book with uh, Toby and um, mutilated. She's, <laughs> yeah, she's, she, she explains how her mutilation, when she understood, when she understood what <coughs> it was too late for her children, but she fought for others' children. Efwa, Efwa Dorkino. She just has to leave. I'm so sad, I just can't get over it. What is, what is the desert flower? She is a fantastic painter. She is. Mimi Ramsey from Ethiopia, and she lives in the United States. And we started, we, we tried to, to, to fight at gym in California. My God. Uh -huh. we, never, we never succeeded in California. Now when I said, oh, of course, the Egyptian fight, uh, woman writer. Did I mention Awatiam? I owe her a lot. Awatiam is a Senegalese writer. She wrote Black Women Speak Out. And she is the founder of the Commission for the Abolition of the Sexual Mutilation. And when she left France, she handed me over her 
organization because she said, Linda, you are the one who can speak what I want to say in court. Now, Emma Bonino, of course, she is a fantastic friend too. And why not mention Baffin Cool? He is a man, he's a songwriter, a musician, and he dared sing against excision, mutilation, and he was chased from his home country, which is Mali, for that, for defying the Islamist. And my last homage, you'll be surprised, is to Hawa Green. Hawa Green is the star of Perpetrators. She has cut so many children in France and, of course, in Mali, where she comes from. She was put to prison. She was sent to prison. It was a very uh, high profile, you say, um, uh, trial. We were facing each other for 15 days, fortnight, full fortnight. It's a long story. But she knew I was her principal opponent. Before being in prison, when she and her husband saw me on TV, they would say, she's the nasty one. <laughs> She asks all the questions we didn't want to answer. <coughs> but you see, after serving her prison term, she called me and we started a friendly relationship. She wanted to speak. She wanted to, to, have a, to, to speak to another woman and she knew that I could understand her. As I said to her, we were adversaries but not enemies. And finally, she admitted that cutting, mutilating girls is not something that is admissible, admittable. And she was courageous enough to come with me and speak out on TV and say, I beg parents not to mutilate children anymore. That was very courageous. And that's why I want to pay homage. And the last word, I promise I'll leave the stage. <laughs> um, at a recess the trial in the highest criminal court, I was sitting you know, just you know, waiting for the recess to end, and two men came, <laughs> shook their fist, and said, It's because of people like you that our women don't obey us anymore. <laughs> that was music. <laughs> <laughs>